Hello everybody, Christian from the Coin Dictionary here, and today we're going to be speaking about the 1944S Australian Florin, a larger silver coin, really cool, a lot of history, and we'll be going over the value, mintage, and all that sort of thing, historical context. But first, thank you to MA-Shops. MA-Shops.com is a trusted online marketplace with a really good selection of U.S., ancient, and world coins paper money, stamps, and more. Again, certified dealers from all over the world. They've been doing it a long time, and you should check it out after this video. But right here in front of us, we see King George VI, who reigned from 1936 to 1952 uh, on the front of the coin. Again, this is 1944, uh, but he's got his little inscription around him reading, George VI, by the grace of God, king of all the British territories, Defender of the Faith, Emperor of India, which would uh, be that Emperor of India gets removed kind of 1947-1948. Um, this HP there stands for Thomas Humphrey Paget. The back, we see the Australian coat of arms with the KG for George Kruger Gray. Uh, the kangaroo and the emu are very Australian um, animals, and there's a wide variety of things, including the crown represented in that coat of arms. Now, the S mint mark really stands out because that's going to be from San Francisco. They were contracted during World War II uh, at the Denver and San Francisco mints. The United States struck coinage for a variety of nations, including Australia. Australia was sort of tied up in the Pacific, uh, fighting against Japan as well as other Axis uh, powers, but and for a size comparison, slightly smaller than the U.S. half dollar. Um, it's a 92.5% silver coin, so sterling silver weighing 11.31 grams. There's a good amount of silver value at the minimum. Um, this specific uh, design went from 1938 to 1945 just for regular circulation as a florin, which is equal to two shillings or um, two twentieths of a, an Australian pound. That pound went from 1910 to 1966. Um, when it would be converted into sort of a new pound that was base 100 instead of the base 240 sterling system where 240 pence would make up one of the Australian pounds that would change to 100. Now for this specific design, only uh, San Francisco struck for them. 1944, they produced 11 million, which was relatively in line with the uh, other years that San Francisco is making coins and sort of in the middle, uh, the rarest seems to be 1939, where a mintage of 630,000 were only produced. Um, so that's the sort of rare year here. But the estimate mark, these coins come pretty nice. They're pretty, uh, you know, uncirculated. They're often found in that condition. So right here, we've got probably about six to seven bucks in silver value. But the numismatic on something like this value will boost it to about... 10 to 12 dollars in that au uncirculated condition if you have one with really nice toning that could increase the value as well as 1943 that's a little bit better in uncirculated but 1944 a fair amount of these stay out of circulation and are well preserved just like the one in front of us so thanks for watching the video hope this was helpful um, no nothing crazy but a really nice piece of history so that's what we've worked with today thanks for watching the video my name is Christian, and I own The Coin Dictionary, and I'd also encourage you to visit us at our website, thecoindictionary.com, and on Instagram at thecoindictionary. And I'd also like to draw your attention to some other helpful coin resources, such as my other YouTube channel, Treasure Town, which does more in-depth videos about coins and collectibles, as well as some resources like coinmeltprice.com, which shows up-to-date Precious Metals Pricing, as well as the melt values of the coins that you own. CoinsMetalsCards.com, which will both be a marketplace and a news source for coins, metals, and cards, as the name suggests. As well as What'sTheGrade.com, which will develop into a stickering service for already graded collectibles. Have a great day, and I hope to see you on some of our other videos.